Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane. This video is part of my Infinite Game Score series, and today we're going to be talking about Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. I realize I'm late to the Kingdom Hearts party, but over time I've grown to enjoy the art style, the characters, the world, the music, and the story. Dream Drop Distance is an interesting entry into the series that borrows from other games such as the duality of Legend of Zelda the Oracle series and the collecting craze of Pokemon games. Yes, new gimmicks are here and they are aplenty. Not only do you play as Sora, but you also play as Riku, and each of them have variations in level design, attack commands, and other things as well. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, the pets. I know, I know, it feels a little bit odd to have them in the game, and believe me, I tried to ignore those, their existence. However, I slowly began to see some of the Dream Eaters that kind of looked cool and did some pretty cool attacks. And that was it. The hook was set and I was all in. I spent hours farming for my dragon, T-Rex, and Frog Knight. And you know what? It was worth it. But now you know that I'm going to that I'm not going to ruin the plot for you. All I will say is that a story is present and while it's not the best, it has its good points. Much like the rest of Kingdom Hearts, this game is filled with feel good moments. However, the game is not flawless. While I try very hard to avoid negativity in my reviews, there were a few things that really stood out and I felt they were worth mentioning. The first is easy, tutorials. Now I'm all for a game teaching me how to play, but here it was a little excessive. It felt like there was a new tutorial every five minutes and I just started skipping them because of the disruption to the flow of the story. Speaking of flow, Flowmations, while fun, was way too powerful in combat and platforming, and I find myself abusing it often. Now, the game has several great points. Combat is fun and borrows a lot from past games, but there's nothing wrong with that. Pets helping you in combat through damage, crowd control, or healing is great, but very easy to exploit. However, I have to say that the end bosses in the game are unfair and I will just leave it at that. I know this review is getting a bit long, so let's get to the unlimited game score. The game exists, so it starts off with a 3. It's both physical and digital, so it gains a point. The immersion is pretty good. The tutorials were just a little over the top, so only 2 points. The gimmick, the pet party, gains a point. Voice actors, English, gains three points. I thought the voice actors were really good this time. Uh, game length, two points. Story, two points. Level design, finally a, there are new areas in old worlds, two points. Complete experience. I don't think there was any story resolution. It just felt like a setup for the next game. So only one point sense of progression three points fairness punishing rng the infinite juggle bs was really bad and then end boss insta kill no nope, sorry you get to lose two points there that's that's just that's lazy combat design in my mind choice and consequence the ability path one point game value to msrp cost two points then Soundtrack, two points. Visuals, two points. Difficulty, two points. Gameplay and combat, two points. Controls, can't customize, but it didn't feel hampering, 
So two points. Camera, two points. Unlockables and rewards, two points. And sense of accomplishment, two points. That totals this game out at 36 points. Again, Dream Drop Distance was adapted from a handheld, which was the Nintendo 3DS, onto the PlayStation 4. So this is not a terrible score. It's actually a fun game, especially if you get into crafting your party and and capturing, you know, the right nightmare eaters and stuff like that. And just if you fall into that trap, you're going to have a blast. Can you skip this game and still get the most out of the story for the series? Yeah, kind of. But you know what? It's part of the series and I'm happy that I played it. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.